ladies and gentlemen, when you go through the last two decades, you learn that cement industry is moving fast forward to composite cements. So we have to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions from the industry and composite cements contain less clinker. This is the way they reduce the carbon dioxide emissions. When we look into the composite cements, they are expected to perform as OPC did in the past. So you need to get the reactivity in some material where your clinker factor is decreased from 80 to 60 or maybe even 50%. This reactivity today is not measured in your daily process control, but this would be needed to react very fast when your clinker and your cement are not performing as they are expected. This can be supervised with a tool like in my bag. This is Polar Cal. This is the first automated hydrothermal heat flow calorimeter in the world. What Polar Cal does, it records the heat which is released during the hydration of cement and clinker, by the way. And by the full automation from sample dosing to paste preparation, insertion into the calorimeter, that's the iCal Flux, a flex from Calmetrics we are able to record the heat release already after two to three minutes or the cumulative heat release after five, 10 or 20 minutes. The real benefit is we record the reactivity data on pace with your process and your product data during production. So you can link both fields and you can directly interfere with your process to improve the product. To make it in a very simple example, if you are producing a cement on a cement mill, you have basically two knobs which are improving your reactivity. One would be the separator, giving by a higher speed, a higher product fineness and more reactivity. And the second is clinker factor. So if you realize during production that your target is not met properly, you have two knobs which can be turned, either in changing the separator or changing the clinker factor. This is much faster than any methods used previously.